Hey, and welcome to the Headliner Podcast. My name is Nick, and I'm the in-house video editor on the Headliner team. We've got a really great show planned for you guys, but first, a little bit about Headliner for those of you who aren't familiar with us or what we do. Headliner is an online video editor that's designed to give podcasters an easy way to share clips from their show on social media. You know those social videos you see on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook that show clips from people's podcasts? We make those. Well, if we're being specific, we give you guys the tools to make those. We also have a system that makes them for you, but more on that next week. If you aren't using Headliner and you want to know what the fuss is all about, we suggest checking out our site at headliner.app in order to create a free account and start creating videos today. Speaking of next week, on each episode of the podcast, I'm going to be letting you know what we here at Headliner have been up to, tell you about a new feature that we've added or one you should take a look at, and share a best practice or two that'll help make your social videos the best they can be. So let's get started with the show. So we often get asked if we offer free trials of Headliner Pro, our subscription version of the app, to people who want to give some of its features a try. We do offer the occasional and more traditional trial to people during events like podcast movement, but we also offer something that we think is a bit better than a plain old free trial. We actually have a referral program that gives people a way to earn free time on Headliner Pro. Basically, you can earn one free week of Pro for every person that signs up using your referral link. On top of that, the user who signs up using your link gets two free weeks of Pro. If you're a teacher who plans on assigning a video assignment to your class, you could drop this link in an email and not only help yourself, but help your students make better videos for their assignments with Headliner Pro's editorial image and stock video selection. And if you're a podcaster, you can drop your referral link in your show notes and rack up free time in Pro while also encouraging your listeners to create audiograms for your show, assuming that's something you want to do to begin with. Meanwhile, bloggers can add their referral link to their email lists and you get the point. You might have noticed that you can now clip your audio before it's fully done loading. And this means you can get a general clip selection made before the waveform appears and you can go in and refine your selection. One of the things I occasionally see in our support inbox is a person asking if the waveform, those lines that move when someone's speaking in an audiogram, can be edited after you've gone past the audiogram wizard or if you'd need to remake the video from scratch if you changed your mind about its placement or design. And the answer to that question is yes, it's actually super easy to change. Once you get to the timeline, that page where you can edit your transcript, add additional assets, or export your video, all you need to do is click on the audio layer, that pink bar on the bottom of the screen, in order to open an audio properties window. You'll then be able to drag and resize your waveform, change its color, or change the style of your wave before saving your changes. And that actually brings us to our best practice of the week, which is selecting the right waveform color for your artwork. The easiest way to do this is to look at the artwork you're using in your video and apply one of the secondary colors on it onto your waveform. A secondary color is one of the colors that accents your artwork and isn't being used by the majority of the image. Basically, if your artwork is a picture of a basketball that's set against a blue background, you're going to want to try and use orange as the color of your waveform because it won't be hard to see against that blue background. Meanwhile, if your artwork is a lot busier and you're having trouble finding a color that works, you could also try using black or white as the color of your waveform as those usually match with every other color pretty well. And for those of you who want to take things even further and play around with things some more, you could even Google an image of a color wheel, find a color from your artwork, and try to use its complementary color by making your waveform the color that's on the exact opposite side of the color wheel. Editing a waveform is pretty quick and simple to do, which is a great segue for our next bit where we hear from someone who uses Headliner as he shares a similar sentiment for keeping things quick and simple. So in general, what is something that you think is overrated or underrated in podcasting? Number one, super duper high quality podcasts. It doesn't matter. That's Adrian. He hosts the CX Chronicles podcast, which is a show that's dedicated to chatting with business leaders about the four pillars of CX. This is audio from our latest headliner highlight, which is available on our blog. And in it, we asked Adrian what he thought the most overrated part of podcasting is and found that his answer was delightfully simple. Overproduction. Have a listen. 
if you've got really great podcast hosts and guests and you've got awesome content that you can learn from it and it's audible and it's clear and it's good enough to where you can listen in the car for 30 minutes when you're going to the grocery store to pick up stuff and, and heading home, that is the most important thing that I think uh, people constantly misstep when they're starting a podcast. I talk to way too many people who over-engineer, take too much time, you know, six, seven months into their thing, they got six or seven shows. That's just not good enough. You should have uh, 40, 50 shows at that point. That's what that's what my goal was. I didn't hit it, but that's where I aim to. And that's why now I'm sitting in, in the range of 70, 80 podcast episodes in, 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 in just over a year. I personally agree with what Adrian had to say on the matter, as more often than not, I think a lot of people kind of get caught up in getting things just right when sometimes you just need to release something and then improve from there. It's kind of easy to get in your own head when it comes to creating anything, and if you're really going to go in and worry about your mic setup or your audio editor or all of the tech you're using to create your show without actually testing the content of that show, you might be overworking yourself and demotivating yourself from continuing a show before it's even taken off. I think it just makes a lot more sense to get a show out there, get some feedback on it, and then take that feedback in stride and just try to improve your own programming. Headliner Highlight is a series where we hear from podcasters that use Headliner in order to learn a bit about their show, how they promote it, and how Headliner fits into that equation. If what Adrian had to say piqued your interest at all, be sure to check out the full blog post over on headliner.app slash blog. We post new ones every week, and we'll be sharing our favorite bit from each one on every episode of this podcast. And if you'd like to submit some audio to be featured in a future highlight, be sure to reach out to info at headliner.app and we'll get you started on that process. Just send us a couple of sentences about your show, a link to where it's available, and your social handles, and we'll reach back to you if you're selected for a headliner highlight. So because this was the first week of the headliner podcast, we're a little light on content for you guys. But one of the segments that I'm really excited about is one that I call This Week in Audiograms. Basically, if you guys don't already, be sure to tag us in some of your social video posts. I may not be speaking for the rest of the headliner team when I say this, but I'm always looking for new podcasts to check out. And on top of that, we'd love to run the audio from a few of your audiograms on each episode of this podcast. If selected, we'll be sure to reach out to you in order to get everything we need to run the audio on the podcast, as well as feature it on the corresponding blog post for the show. That's right, I said blog post. Everything we talked about today is going to be available for you guys to skim and dissect over on our blog, headliner.app slash blog. So, again, send us your audiograms. Our Twitter and Instagram handle is at Headliner Video, and if selected, we'll run your audiogram on the show. You're also more than free to shoot me an email at nicholas at headliner.app if you have anything podcast or headliner related that you want me to discuss on a future episode, or if you have a question that you want me to take a crack at answering. And with that, I think we've reached a good stopping point for this week's Headliner podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that there was something here of value to you.